Hi, this is Vicki Goforth Parnell. Now I've come to share another dream with you. I have prayed about it and tested it. I had this dream, um, journaled it on 10, 12, 24, 1 52 p.m. But I did have it earlier that morning in my sleep time so it could be the 11th, but I journaled it on the 12th. This dream is entitled The Dancing Lights Dream. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, critters, you will not bite me in Jesus Christ's name. I'm sealed under the blood of Jesus. Sorry about that. Please pray about this. Take it to Jesus Christ in prayer. This is in reference to the dancing lights that come before the three days of darkness. For those of you that say the three days of darkness will not happen, happened in Pharaoh's days, that's it. Well, Ecclesiastes 1.9 says what happens before will happen again. And I did find... And when the Lord studied, led me to study, that in Amos 4.10, I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. The darkness for three days was the ninth plague listed in Exodus, I think it's chapter 10. Exodus 10.21-27. 10, so here we find that I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. And when you study also Isaiah 10, 24, Therefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts, O my people that dwell in Zion, be not afraid of the Syrians. He shall smite thee with a rod and shall lift up his staff against thee after the manner of Egypt, the staff. You, when you study, you realize that when those plagues come, Moses and Aaron both used a staff. But take that to Jesus Christ in prayer. That's showing you they've already happened once. After Exodus, twice if you look at the, at the one in Isaiah. You can't limit it, God, because you do not see it actually written out in this word. Why? It's applied knowledge. You pull all the verses together and you get it. There's actually a video I did on how the coming three days of darkness is found in the Holy Word of God. 10, 6, 24. And it explains and breaks down other verses and other passages. It's a pestilence. It's a plague. We know again in Revelation 11, 6, the two witnesses can call down any plague, any pestilence in the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 tells us that even the unknown plagues, curses and things, will be sent to those who turn from God. But let's pray about it. Take it to Jesus Christ in prayer. Father God, I come to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lead the way in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, don't let me speak a word that's not from you, Father God. This dream was from you. And in the name of Jesus Christ, don't let me speak or imply or say anything, anything at all that is not from you. I want everything I do to glorify you, Father God, through Jesus Christ. As John 14, 13 through 14 tells me, it will be done. So Jesus Christ, I ask that you answer this prayer request this prayer now lord is there any reason why i cannot be hidden today in the name of jesus christ standing on job twenty-two twenty-eight, 28 i declare and i decree as a daughter of heaven meaning an heir and join heir with jesus christ having accepted him into my heart and given all authority according to luke ten nineteen, i decree and i declare there will be absolutely no retaliation backlash interference spying and such like of god's knowledge god's existence and his understanding of what they can or cannot do in the name of jesus christ ever pertaining to this video any others directly indirectly randomly the pdfs and any such like even where they're shared father god let your truth go forth in all things I'm not here for a name for myself. I could care less if anybody knows my name. I want them to hear what you're saying. It's not about me. It's about you, Jesus Christ and Father God. And that's how it's always been. If this ministry is not from you, it will fall. That's what Acts 5 says. 
if it is not from you, if it's a man, then it will fall. It will eventually fall. I pray it gets struck down if it's not from you in Jesus Christ's name because I do not want to hurt, deceive, or lead anybody astray. But if it is from you, Father God, in Jesus Christ, they are fighting against you. And if it's you, I ask for your anointing and for this ministry to be taken wherever you need it to go, north, south, east, west, for your glory. I need no glory. I'm not here for likes. I'm not here for numbers. I'm not here for anything but to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and reach all the souls that I can. So, Lord, empower me to do that and help my brothers and sisters as you teach me to share what I've learned. If it teaches, if it reaches one, uh, it's worth it. But, Lord, as long as I keep seeing that these videos are profiting, it's not all about the dreams. My family accused me one time, somebody close to me, it's about the dreams. You're stepping aside because of the dream. No, this is just the way the Lord opened the door. It's reaching the lost. It's helping my brothers and sisters draw closer, learning how to fight, learning how to war. Blessed be the Lord my strength, who teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Psalms 144.1. I have prayed this repeatedly, and I'm just sharing what you have shown me, but Lord, when I pray, it's not like before. When I pray, prayers are answered and not and almost immediately at times. Sometimes it's wait, sometimes it's yes, sometimes it's no, but I know there's an answer. I give you praise. So in the name of Jesus Christ, every plot, gin, snare, device, scheme, arrow, device, everything of the enemy, physical or spiritual, I hereby bind it and crush it and burn it and nullify it and break it and reverse it and send it and disable it in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever needs to be done. And I silence everything not of you, Father God, that would try to interfere with this video. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I ask angels of God be sent out in Jesus Christ's name and to silence everything. Standing on 1 Peter 3, 22. So many people yell at me, yell at me. You have no right to pray and send out angels. Jesus Christ is over the angels. Behold, I give unto you all power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. So in that, all power... Through Jesus Christ, asking Jesus Christ, and when I do it, it will be honored when it lines up with the Word of God, not if it's a miss. I thank you, God, for showing me that, because I questioned you, and you led me straight to that verse. You are merciful, you are kind, you are just, and you are righteous. You are my friend, Daddy God, and I love you. Let your will be done. Every evil gathering, Father God, and your knowledge and understanding of what an evil gathering can be, that can be a video, that can be in person, whatever, with ill intent to harm me, this ministry, my family, pertaining to everything directly, indirectly, randomly to this site, I command it in Jesus Christ's name to be dispersed and to not regroup. I send forth devouring storms and rumors of the Lord as is found in the Word of God. Yes, they're in there. Hallelujah. 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 I give you praise. And I stand on Proverbs 26, 2. As a bird wandering and as a swallow flying, the curse causes shall not come. Meaning, it cannot light. It cannot come to a place. Curse curse ill-spoken words with intent to harm the everything the enemy sends out is through a curse but you have to at times pray against everything they send out bewitchments they send out curses they send out charms they send out physical attacks but you know what greater is he that is innocent he that is in the world that's why we trust the holy spirit how do i need to pray this time holy spirit i've prayed this way and it's not working what is it you're wanting to teach me so i know how to pray effectively in the name of jesus christ and sometimes I have learned Jesus Christ as you had to tell the devil more than once with the word of God to get thee hence when you were tempted in Matthew 4 so do we but we stand firm and we keep sending that word at him like you did and he will eventually flee because it says in James 4 7 submit yourself therefore to God resist the devil and he will flee and the vision you gave me Jesus Christ hallelujah showing me the true nature Hallelujah. I thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, your will be done in all things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, send this out north, south, east, west. But let everything be done to bring glory to Father God. In Jesus Christ's name. 
Hallelujah. Okay, I had this dream again. 10, 12, 24, start journaling at 1.52 p.m. I'd really intended on journaling as soon as I got up, but there was you know, issues on Telegram I had to take care of. This is called the Dancing Light Dreams. Those of you just wondering, that is the auroras that show up before the three days of darkness. This is, you take it to Jesus Christ in prayer. You take your questions to Jesus Christ also. I've answered all I'm going to, unless he tells me otherwise. Concerning the three days of darkness, did extensive getting the information out, answering questions, and that that was not like a mad rush because it was coming. It was hurry, get it out so they can prepare, they can prepare. And I don't tell everything because I wasn't told to. So understand, you've been given everything you need to be prepared. Whether you're prepared or not, it's between you and God now. And I say that in love. Even though I sound hard at times, I'm not going to compromise. Let me get that straight. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. It is the small foxes that spoil the vine. Don't let deception in. Don't let the enemy in. Cut his head off. Stomp on that snake and cut its head off. In Jesus Christ's name. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10, 19. Stand on the word of God. And when I send it out and pray, I usually follow up with Isaiah 55, 11. Your word will not return unto you void, God. Use the word of God. Jesus Christ's name. I've been given a name above, highly exalted. Philippians 2, 9 through 11. Jesus Christ, my lovely Lord and Savior. I dreamed again, and I have been praying about it in your great name. In your great, all-powerful name. I've tried and tested it, discerning it as you have taught me in your holy word to do. Sweet Holy Spirit, my teacher and friend, please bring all I need to remember back to my memory, as John 14, 26 says you will do. Although I still see it vividly in my, vividly in my mind and hear it, don't let me speak a word that's not from my lovely Jesus Christ, nor write it either. Please don't let me give my own interpretation of any if it's different than what Jesus Christ or Father God means. In Jesus Christ's name I pray and ask. That's actually something I pray a lot, even though I don't write it down very seldom. I will do it, daughter of Zion, for surely once again this has been sent down from the throne room of the great God Jehovah through his son Jesus Christ, Savior and Lord of your world. Thank you, dear friend. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Some of you were questioning when I stopped, was praying on the last video about there being an enemy. Understand. I feel like I need... Yes, okay. You have those assignments that are sent out by the enemy to you. But you have territorial demons, witches, and all that. That when they recognize there's a child of God, they'll attack. Simply all that was. Nobody knows where I'm at. Jesus Christ has hid me and said he would hide me permanently. I'm good. Just so you'll know. You, you have those. That's what it means. The bird flying. Wondering. The bird wandering. Just a, a random attack. You get me in the supermarket. Walk by a witch. She recognizes you're a child of God. And she tries to do a woohoo wahoo on you. You know. That's a random. Or you have those directly assigned at you. Because there's such things as territorial demons and fallen angels. Yeah, all that. Alright, I found myself looking across our world as if I'm floating in the atmosphere. From where I'm suspended in the sky, I can see all over the whole world. But that's not all I am seeing. There are lights. Beautiful, colorful, dancing lights. There, excuse me, hold on, I gotta pause this for just a moment. Sorry about that. Had to take care of something. Let's start again. I apologize. I found myself looking across a world as if I am floating in the atmosphere. From where I'm suspended in the sky, I can see our whole world. But that's not all I'm seeing. 
There are lights, beautiful, colorful dancing lights covering much of our world. I noticed that although they are vivid and bright, not all places could they be seen clearly because of all the lights everywhere. Lights in the cities, lights at airports, lights even in rural areas chase the beautiful lights away from being seen. As I looked around, still hovering midair, I spoke out loud. I thought everyone would see the dancing colorful lights, the auroras when the three days of darkness come, just before they arrive. I heard a voice from the heavens above say to me, they will be. This is not the colorful lights for the three days of darkness, but a prelude. Even if this is so, I replied, when it does come time, how are the dancing lights seen in the sky with so much man-made lights on our world? And what about in the daylight hours? The auroras, these colorful lights, are mostly seen at night in the darkness with very little light around. How is this possible? I asked out loud to the voice above. I will darken the sky of your world, daughter. The voice replied to my question. The whole sky, I exclaimed. Are you going to darken it for the whole time the dancing lights appear? I questioned the voice from heaven once again. What's needed, daughter? Yes, I will, the voice replied. But how, I asked once again, looking up to the heavens above me. <clears throat> This is how I shall dim the skies where the colorful lights in some areas will now be seeable in your world's daylight hours. Look below at your world once again, daughter, and tell me what you see. I look back to the world below, easily able to distinguish the land masses. Funny, they don't look exactly like the maps I've seen of our world nor do they show the outer regions located behind the spiritual barrier now encased to form the ice barrier around our world, dividing our physical realm from the spiritual one inside the firmament containing our world. Suddenly, as I look down, I begin to see what look like mushroom-type clouds forming. There are more than one location on the world below where the clouds formed into these deadly shapes. One area is a general area of Ukraine and Russia, while the majority were over the United States. I looked in horror, yet in awe too, as the clouds went into the air. I'm not sure how much time had elapsed, but the debris and ash seemed to spread out into the air. This in turn caused the brightness of the sun not to be fully seen. Its very rays seemed somewhat blocked. I shook myself for a moment as I stared in surprise. Oh, it blocks the sun's rays somewhat, dimming the area, but not everywhere. When the lights appear, will they now be fully seen? I asked the voice looking above again. Again, I was told to watch the earth below. I turned my focus back unto the earth's direction, which is still below me, and I watched as I was instructed to do. Colorful lights began filtering through even the dimmer lighted areas and shone upon the earth's lower sky. The dimming of the sun's light by partially covering the dimming of the sun's light by partially covering the air with debris from the mushroom type clouds did make a difference in some areas, but not in every place. Suddenly, some of the man-made lights below began flickering, then went out. Not every location, but several. The vibrant lights could then be seen dancing in the sky. Some fainter at farther locations, but still beautiful to behold with the natural eye itself. What just happened? I asked excitedly. The EMP-like effects I warned you about, daughter of mine, that accompanies the dancing lights prior to the darkness descending at my noon. This is what you are seeing. 
the voice from above replied to me from the upper heavens. I looked at the dancing lights thoughtfully and then exclaimed, Wait, though. The lights still aren't fully seen because there's still many lights shining brightly in homes and cities, causing them not to be seen. They have to be seen everywhere so all your children will know it's time if they haven't discerned it's the correct time. That's what you said, Father God. I cried out passionately, finally identifying out loud who I knew already had been speaking to me as I looked up to the heavens. You are correct, my daughter, and they shall be seen by all, but at varying lengths of time due to man's construction of time zones and interferences of the order of things I set in place for the good of all inhabiting the earth. What do you mean? I asked, trying desperately to understand. Ah, oh, little daughter of mine, have not I said often to you judgment comes the same yet different, and that I would use man's inventions, devices, and technology to help fulfill the judgments called forth? Yes, Father God, you have, I replied back to him quickly. The same it is again, my daughter. Excuse me. I shall use man's devices to bring the dancing lights into view for all upon your world. You must realize every nation's leader, ruler, and elected officials are connected directly or indirectly with the fallen ones. Having made leagues with Lucifer himself, it is through this connection that every nation's rulers, those in positions of power, have already been made aware of the coming three days of darkness, the voice of Father God said to me. Daddy God, then why don't they warn their people of what's coming? I asked passionately. I heard Father God's voice respond, softer than before. Because, little one, if the people are left unprepared, then that's many that shall likely perish when the three days of darkness descends, without time for them to cry out to my son Jesus Christ and ask forgiveness of their sins. By not warning their people, there will be definitely there will definitely be more who perish as the evil is released in the darkness than if some type of warning had been issued. If each nation's offering Excuse me, it's each nation's offering to Lucifer and the fallen ones, Father God said, as they head into the reign of the Antichrist on the world's surface. That's horrible, I, cr I declared out loud. That's the way of the kingdom of darkness, daughter of mine. They are evil. This should not surprise you with all I have shown you. Their main goal is to take as many souls with them possibly to the lake of fire, lake of fire's torment. I replied, you're right, Father God. So if all the leaders and rulers know about this coming three days of darkness, how is it their technology and or devices will be used to assist in the colorful dancing lights being seen everywhere? I asked thoughtfully as I gazed up to the heavens. For you to understand, daughter, they will turn off their lights, he said quickly. What? How? What does this mean, Daddy God? Please tell me. It's not like this one light switch for the whole world that man has. You might have one, but they don't. Actually, you could just command it, I said. You are correct, Father God said quickly. But when it comes time, each country far and wide will power down their grids they will do this so that when the three days of darkness has lifted and sunlight begins returning to the world so does their control of the individual nation's power grids solar infrastructures turbines dams utilities and everything that was left on when the darkness descended so it doesn't send power surges from everything restarting all at once and permanently damaging them. 
It's their fail-safe to keep their power capabilities in each country. I have allowed this, Father God spoke softly. Wow, that makes sense, I replied. But how would they know when to turn the power grids and such like off across the world around the same time? What's their sign? They would have to have a signal, wouldn't they, Father God? I asked earnestly. Yes, daughter, they would, and they do. It's the lights themselves, he said, then continued. Once the dancing lights are seen in the daylight hours in parts of the world, all nations shall watch closely, for they all know it's only a short window of time. They have to implement their plans. Failure to do so could cause a whole country or parts of it not to have any source of any type of power, of grid power at all. When they see the continuation of the colorful lights in daylight being maintained and unfaltering in addition to the already EMP-like effects on your world in places, they will begin shutting off the power grids of your world. This too is why some of my watching children have less time in seeing the dancing colorful lights than others. In addition, this is why you need to get you need to get immediately somewhere inside. No one on earth knows which location has the longest or shortest time. Obedience, daughter. Obedience to my instructions shall be the deciding factors in many things when my darkness for three days descends. Daughter, you have not long now. All who will listen have been warned. All who have chosen to obey have made their plans with many making the preparations in advance. I have waited for my children, dragging their feet, as you say so often, daughter, to be spurred into action. A few have, while most have dug in deeper into their scoffing and open defiance. The darkness comes this year, daughter. I have shown you its time clock. It's not the clock, excuse me, is not the clock just seconds away from its descent. Yes, daughter, it is. Before, daughter, before it ends, your year ends many things. Your year ends many things shall transpire on your world. Let me read that again. Before, daughter, before it ends, your Years in, ends many things shall transpire on your world and in your nation forever changing them. Your next year brings the rise of a new sun, a new reign of power for mankind. Look now, daughter, upon your world as I turn off the world's lights. Father God said in a voice of authority, I looked at the world below with the dancing lights still covering many places with some areas already completely dark. In those places, the dancing lights are so much more vivid and bright in their colors. Suddenly, all the lights went off, but almost simultaneously, the world sky lit up with dancing auroras in every place I could see. I was all struck by its beauty, but also in some ways repulsed by them, because their great beauty is what ushers in the deadly three days of darkness upon our world. Now you know how it's possible for the colorful dancing lights, the auroras, to be seen upon your world, daughter. And with these words, I awoke. Take this to Jesus Christ in prayer and Father God. And your questions. I'm being asked a lot of questions again when you're supposed to have a relationship with Jesus Christ yourself. And therefore, you need to seek Him so that when you get that answer, you can hold on to it and not let anybody sway you here are the verses exodus 10 21 through 27 ecclesiastes 1 9 amos 4 10 8 8 through 9 job 5 14 luke 21 25 luke 21 11 psalms 19 1 Isaiah 13, 10 through 11. 
Jeremiah 33, 3. Job 15, 23. John 14, 26. Isaiah 46, 9 through 11. 48, 3 through 7. And Lamentations 3, 31 through 41. I ask you to take this to Jesus Christ in prayer. Try and test this dream. Lay it out. Do the research. Pull the verses. Check out the, the fruits of this ministry. We're seeing people saved. And that's the main thing. Making choices to surrender their life to Jesus Christ. We're seeing people, once cold, return to the Lord. Passionately pursuing Him. That's what it's all about. Yeah, there's also those out there that want to criticize and judge. Lord, tell me when I stepped out. The Lord being the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is my Lord. He told me when I stepped out, you would be hated by most. And you'll be loved by some. Will you do this? Yes, sir, I will. It's not about me. Because my, my whole focus... When he first asked me to step out was, if I can eat, reach one, if I can snatch one out of out of the kingdom of God, from Lucifer's hands, from, from Satan's hands, I'll do it for your glory and for that soul. So many people get their eyes off the, of how to reach the masses. Reach who's put in front of you. You may be called to reach one person in this world, or you may be called to reach a million. All it means, whoever you're to reach, don't get your eyes off anybody else but who Jesus Christ puts in your path. It's like even when when in the telegram, Lord, did I use that for an example? There have been those that have risen up with false doctrine and things. And I will be giving, well, I was giving quite a few warnings. Anymore, you, you get one mostly. Don't do it again. And then I banned them. I'm not about numbers. I'm not about... But if they're repeatedly doing it, there's a pattern. You follow the fruits. I'm going to step in. Because I'm going to reach those in the sight that Father God has put for me to reach. Or the brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ to reach inside that sight. So if that means calling out those that continually rise up. I'm going, to, I'm going to ban them. If the Lord says right away it's a strife, division, they're not going to change, I ban them. Oh, that doesn't sound Christ-like. Do you want truth with deception? The thing is, I have been set over this telegram. Jesus Christ and Father God have instructed me on every side of the My Lovely Jesus ministry. So what goes on inside there, inside these sites... I have to hold and I'm responsible for to some part because I've opened that up under the instructions of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Goes with anybody. That way I reach you, I'm called to reach there through the videos, through the PDF, however. Jesus Christ takes it, Holy Spirit takes it. In your lives, whoever, Father God, Jesus Christ, puts in your path. It doesn't have to be something great. In our eyes, to God it is. Every seed you plant, don't ever underestimate the power and value of that seed. Do what you're called to do. You may be just supposed to plant that seed. And then let Father God, Jesus Christ, come and do the reaping. Do your part. Don't ever think you're not doing enough if you know you've done what you've been called to do. I've been called to talk to this person. I've talked to them, but I don't feel like they've received it. Don't let the devil beat you up. If you've done your part and you know you've talked to them and that's all, stand in knowing you've been obedient. You've done your will and say, okay, Father God, Jesus Christ, I now give them to you. If you want me to have another opportunity to speak to that person, then you open the door. Otherwise, Help me be at peace because I have done what you told me to do. And help me focus on the next person. Could be your children. I hear a lot of people say, well, I'm just a housewife. I'm just raising my children, men and women both. That is one of the greatest honors. Raising 
children, godly children, up in the ways of the Lord. That is one of the highest priorities. Even in the Word of God, you're instructed, the fathers are instructed to teach the children the ways of the Lord. Well, with, with the broken world we have, it's the mothers and the fathers. We are called to raise up godly seed. So whatever position the Lord Jesus Christ has called you in, it is honorable. And it is a need to be filled. So don't let anybody talk you down. Don't let anybody, if you're just the janitor in the church, that has to be done. And if you're doing it with the love of Jesus Christ, doing it because you want to keep his place clean, he will reward you. Whatever you're called to do, don't look at somebody else's calling. There's a need for every person in the body of Christ. If you take the pinky toe off of a body, the whole body is unbalanced, and that's a, one of the smallest members. It takes every one of us working together in unity, praying in unity. You know, and I, I've said this before, the Lord had me share it, Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for your brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Come into the agreement in prayer of those that are praying according to the Lord's will, meaning the Holy Spirit's leading them or they're praying not against the Word of God, not praying curses and praying in Jesus Christ's name. And when I say not praying curses, I'm not talking about sending something back. Even in the Bible, there's times when you can pray against your enemies. Jeremiah did it. David did it. You, you're led by the Lord. You have to be led. But if you're just praying because this person did you wrong, I ask God strike them dead right here, right now. <laughs> That's a curse. You know? There's a fine line. That's why you need to be led by the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, in all things. Seek them. Try them. Test everything. 1 John 4, 1-3. 13 through 15, 1 Corinthians 12, 3 gives you questions. You can form questions out of those verses. Try and test everything you're hearing. It is imperative that you learn to discern, especially if you get left behind. Left behind or tribulation saints, however you want to say it. Again, I am hereby saying Jesus Christ is coming for his bride. We're not appointed under wrath. Those who are bride ready, he will remove. If you look throughout the the Word of God. There were many times the Lord stepped in before the really bad things happened to those who were faithful. And even though there are incidences, incidences, if you do have to go through something, it's going to be a glory, a testimony for all. Just like Daniel and the lion's den, just like the three Hebrew boys, they went through the fire. They were persecuted. Persecution is here. And just because we don't see the exact persecution everywhere, a lot of people says, well, it's not here yet. A lot of it's hidden. You know, the Lord's been speaking to me about the guillotines, the dreams of the guillotines. There is so much going on. People have their heads stuck in the sand and refuse to, 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 to see. They don't want to see. And then you have all your little fact checkers that come through and, and are led by the wicked, evil governments. You've got to be led by the Holy Spirit. You've got to be led by Jesus Christ. And there's ways. And everything, everything, I ask the Lord, confirm it in your word. The word of God is forever true and forever settled in heaven. And I will open up the Word of God and I said, I want, my, I want the truth, Holy Spirit, to come from the Word of God forever settled in heaven. Jesus Christ was the Word made into flesh. He is, he's everything. Please take this to prayer in Jesus Christ's name. Again, there is a video that I put out how the coming three days of darkness is found in the Holy Word of God. He took me on a study showing me. I knew it is because I've not had dreams, visions, and conversations. But show me where it, how it, it is still in the Word of God to happen at later times. For those of you that noticed, my last video was pulled down off YouTube, uh, my main YouTube channel. Um, 
it was cited. I got a warning for medical misinformation for a dream. You know, they censor your dreams. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> but it can be found on Rumble. Uh, there is a, the links are under any of the videos. You can go to Rumble, Bitchu, Brition, and even in Odyssey. Those links are under there if you haven't watched the Wave Weapons. What was it called again, Lord? I keep it wrote down. <laughs> it's in my journal. Wave Weapons and Another Black Rock Dream. Um, yeah, that tells how they focus in on you and can target you. Wave Weapons and Another Black Rock Dream, 10, 8, 24, 8, 8 a.m. is when I journaled it. You'll have to go to one of them sites to see it because I have not been told by the Lord Jesus Christ to remake it yet. So again, it's on Rumble, Bitchute, Brition, 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 and Odyssey. If the Lord leads you to watch that. This is the My Lovely Jesus Ministry. Again, I'm going to say this. And Jesus Christ, Father God, Holy Spirit have all told me to pull away. The only way I will address, unless Holy Spirit steps in, I do ministry responses and that's it. I've had to reach out to some people due to the aid in North Carolina. We're still there. I have a, a little bit more money that's still been sent in. I'm getting ready to send out. Um, it goes out in the name of the My Lovely Jesus Ministry. So if you donate it, know that you're part of that. Because I, I don't want it under my name. I just It's under the ministry. So everybody that's prayed or had a part in it, donate or whatever, this is you going out and aiding and helping in Jesus Christ's name for His glory. But I have been called to not be chatting. Not on YouTube channel. That's why it's shut. Not on anything. The only place if you want to talk to me, you do it on the Telegram My Lovely Jesus Ministry chat group among everybody else. If it needs to go further, Jesus Christ will tell me. Because I'm shutting myself off. And I'll say this again. Those who, who say they're my, fit, my, my friends and my family, they should understand because they're all professed Christians. When it comes to reaching a soul over, over anything else, I have to stay and do what I'm called to do. We're not to look back to the plow. We're to forsake family, friends, all else for Jesus Christ. And that's what I'm doing. I'm forsaking all and reaching all I can as this time winds down. If you have an issue with that, you need to seek Jesus Christ in prayer. Because these are orders from Father God, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. If you're offended, you're one of those Matthew 24, 10. You need to take it to Jesus Christ in prayer. Why am I saying this again? Because I'm repeatedly saying this, posting it, and I'm still getting messages sent. I'm not going to be responding to anyone unless Jesus Christ says, because that puts me in disobedience. I'm not doing it. I love Jesus Christ too much. And if I put myself in disobedience, how am I going to be able to reach the lost that He's putting in front of me to reach or to help my brothers and sisters? It's a sacrifice, yes, but one I am willing to make. Because if, if those family and those friends are saved, there'll be a reunion in heaven. And I say that because only God knows the condition of the hearts when all people die. But if I choose my family over reaching the lost, or I choose my friends being disobedient, I'm of no use. Holy Spirit, lead me. It's not about me. It's not about these dreams. It's not about the visions. It's not about the words. It's not about being in front of this video, being in front and known by people. It's about reaching the lost, as we're all called to do. We need a burden and a passion for the lost.
Souls are dying every day. We know that. And the majority of them are going to hell. And then they'll be cast into the lake of fire according to Revelation. What are we doing? What are we really doing? I give my life to Jesus Christ. This is how it will be from here on out. If you have an issue, take it to Jesus Christ in prayer. So those of you still trying to contact me on Telegram, outside of the Telegram ministry group, ministry group Unless I have reached out to you due to, like, North Carolina getting information, you will not get an answer. Please hear what I'm saying. This is the only way you are, can now contact me. This is the way Jesus Christ has called it to be. It's not, please respect my wishes. Please listen to what Jesus Christ, Father God, and Holy Spirit are telling me to do. If you're a child of God, you should know. I'm not going to walk in disobedience because you want to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm saying this to everybody, not just family and friends. I have so many people trying to be friends with me. It's not that I don't love people. I love people. I get too involved. I have to focus on what Jesus Christ tells me to do. Right now, I still have a dream to write out, finish right now, about Atlantis. Yes, Atlantis. So, I'm not going to take away my private time with Jesus Christ to answer this chat, that chat. Your ministry is supposed to minister. I will minister through Telegram as he is set up. I pray over it that telegram channel all the time the needs of people don't always respond but I am praying I am praying all right I'm telling told to wrap it up please pray about this dream please take your questions to Jesus Christ I have answered many many three days of darkness fasting and praying and seeking the Lord for it for for others it's time for you to do that for yourself. I love you all. Stay under the blood of Jesus Christ always. Stay close. Stay close to Him. Don't let anything draw you away from Jesus Christ's loving arms. It's not worth it. Let go of this world. Let go of its pleasures for a while. That's all it is. A temporary fix. And you either end up in a lake of fire, torment, or in heaven with Jesus Christ and Father God. I want to reach all I can. I want to reach all I can. And with the Lord Jesus Christ's help, I will. Those of you who made yourself my enemy, thank you. <laughs> I mean it. Thank you. You have pushed me to become the very thing you've tried to stop me from being. An on fire child of God that passionately pursues Jesus Christ. I knew before to fall on my knees and hit Jesus, you know, hit my knees when trouble arose. But now I know to stay on my knees. So what you meant for evil, God turned it for good. Romans 8, 28. So I bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ, including my enemies. I love all in Jesus Christ's name. Bye-bye for now.